my hair has gone wild this morning with the Coffee. change of temperature. It smells really good. I wanted to show you something first, even before I get a sip of coffee. This okay. is how important it is. Okay. You ready for this? So you're going to be stocking my Advent um, calendar this year. And I just wanted to point out, I am almost completely out of the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. Is this a hint? This is a subtle, not so subtle hint. They usually come in packs of three or four. But the tinted is like just enough, right? It looks like I have lipstick on, but I don't. I just have something to help me in my chap lips. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time I give Joe a subtle hint about Christmas, you'll be alerted to it. Welcome to day 23 of the Road Back. Yum! So we are drinking some coffee. Today is Wednesday, mm. November 24th, the day before Thanksgiving, the day before our son's 20. Fifth birthday. We have a quarter of a century invested in this child. I am so old. <laughs> You're not. This is awesome. What a celebration. So we are drinking coffee. Can you guess? This is caramel macchiato, but it feels like it's been doubled down. Did you find caramel macchiato coffee to put caramel macchiato in? When I was in Aldi the other day getting some butter, I found this for $2.50. It is like caramel that. macchiato. I, it's probably not the greatest, but uh, natural and artificial flavored coffee. But it was two dollars and fifty cents. How do you not buy a pound of coffee For when it's two dollars and fifty cents? It's actually, I have to say, a better taste than usually these. I promise you, there's a flavor in here. Yeah. Coffees like Bones, guaranteed. Bones yep. coffee. If you like flavored coffee, you don't need any external help. It, it has got like an action-packed flavor to it. Also, I miss the bourbon coffees. Yeah. Those were really good. So inside of here, we each have an egg. And there is one scoop split between the two of us, the entire pot of caramel macchiato keto yeah. chow. I thought about putting this in there. <gasps> But yeah, I figured caramel macchiato with caramel macchiato. Why not? Yes, but not? this is a much larger bag. So uh, yeah, this is coming out on Black Friday, but this vlog will be released after Black Friday. So we're still so keeping we can the show secret. it right now. Right. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell Irish selves. cream is available in individual packs as well as big bags. It's so exciting. Uh, yeah. So uh, this will be released before Cyber Monday. Okay. So they 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 will have all of the sales for Black Friday available through Cyber Ooh. Monday. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool that this is available. Use the link down below. So I did want to say that if you use that link down below during Black Friday, you will still get the Black Friday sale. Oh yeah. So using that link, it does give you ten percent off. But if there's something else that is like fifty percent off. You get the 50% off on those items and then the 10% off of the stuff Everything that else. isn't like 50% off. Like those go packs. That's a great deal. That's a great deal because I think the normal price is like a hundred bucks for like the fall go pack. So you're getting it at 50% off. That's a really good deal. And I'm really excited about the starter bundle. I should have ordered one of those uh, just to give away. Like I have a couple of friends that you know, want to get started on Keto Chow, but I like the fact that it's coming with lemon meringue, which I think lemon meringue is an amazing flavor. And then of yeah. course it's got caramel macchiato. So yeah, excited. Irish cream is available now. And of course somebody is going to play with Sweet her toys. toys. So uh, today, since today is Wednesday, 
Um, Rachel does not want to do any experimentation with food today. No, we're keeping it very, very simple. The things that we can trust and mm. know because I want to enjoy to the fullest tomorrow. Yep. So, uh, oh, did you read the secret passage? I did not. The secret panel. Oh my gosh. What makes this taste so delicious? It's not great. <laughs> Yay! I didn't even know that that was on there. It's so funny because it says, well, this is what Two Crazy Keto said, but I think we both know that it wasn't two of the Two Crazy Keto that said that. Grape is amazing. It said is, nobody. It is just amazing. On opposite day. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, we're going to keep it pretty simple. What? Let's go over real quick what we know we can trust. Uh, we did pretty good on turkey. We did great on turkey. I was we're, surprised. We're going to retry chicken at some point, probably after the holidays. And not an entire boob a piece. Right. But again, when we would eat chicken. We ate a lot. That is normally how we would eat it pre-beef, butter, bacon, and egg. I will eat like an entire boob of chicken, but not an entire boob of turkey. Like I don't want as much turkey as I want chicken. Even yeah. though the turkey was very like flavorful and delightful. Mm-hmm. I was glad it was the size that we did. It was just enough. It was just enough. So uh, we can trust chicken wings. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have we done good on so far? Keto Brisket. Chow. Brisket. Burgers. That's beef. Oh, okay. That's beef as bacon. well. Bacon. We can trust bacon. So yeah, we're going to keep it pretty simple today. Let's talk about xylitol. Yes. How'd you do with that? I don't feel... It, it's, it's hard. So... There's more, obviously, sugar alcohols in the banana cream pie, and we did find them with the banana cream right. pie. Right. I don't feel any inflammation from all that xylitol, but I did feel, like, some tingling in my mouth about an hour or so after, and maybe even a little bit of, like, a cooling, but I don't know if it was the xylitol, and again, it, it was kind of like an informal test of xylitol. Right. Or was it... The combination of all of those different flavors. That was a lot of flavors together. And some strong ones, like clove. I don't, I don't feel bad, but here's the thing. I was thinking yesterday, I need to drink some more. I, I probably, I, I want to say I had less than 32 ounces of like liquid in total yesterday. Like I did not drink a lot. And the reason for that is... I don't tend to drink as much when I'm not like hot at all. And yesterday was a beautiful, cool day, an abnormally cool day mm -hmm. for Florida. And so I wasn't carrying around flip the whole day. Like right. I, I was pretty much just like, okay, I have a hot coffee and then I, I've got this. And that's not good. I do need to drink some liquid. Yeah, we're not into the whole like you have to drink your body weight or half of your body weight no. in ounces like you drink but again one of the things we talk about is like electrolyte imbalance and not having enough electrolytes or some people even worry about having too many electrolytes which i personally think is difficult on keto because night like dr cyrus has that whole thing on too many like extra vitamins right which i do think but like when it comes to electrolytes a lot of the electrolytes like they're hard to get in some of the foods we're going to eat unless you're eating a tremendous amount of vegetables. And even there, it can be difficult. But when you refer back to that video that Dr. Sivas had about like water chasing salt, yes, it starts to make sense. It does. And that's one of the things that I have to say is an advantage or one of the reasons that, that having something like the electrolyte mixes that you put in water, like the Redmond Relight, one of the things that makes that an advantage is the fact that you're taking your electrolytes and you're getting your water. Right. If you're just, say, doing electrolytes in a powdered form or capsule form like the Relight, but not drinking any water, you could have that thing. Now you've put a whole bunch of electrolytes in your body, but you haven't given yourself any water. So now what happens? The water is going to chase the salt. Yep. And since you haven't given a lot and your body's going to hold on to the water, and so now... It, it's going to stay with that salt. Again, not a doctor or a nurse. But, but it makes sense. That's, that's where my mind is going logically because I find that when I have the right amount of electrolytes and the right amount of fluids that my body wants, I'm good. But if I'm up on one and down on the other, yeah. I don't get the effect that I'm looking for. Exactly. And yesterday, I took 
the tablets in the morning for mm -hmm. electrolytes because they were just, you know, readily available. I was standing at the kitchen sink. I keep them right there. So I remember to get them in, but then I did not follow up the way that I did on the BBB and E challenge because that was, it was hotter months. We're in South Florida, right? right? And so 50 days ago, it, it was, it was much toastier around right. these parts. So I did not drink a bunch of water yesterday. I just didn't. Yeah. Well, somebody wants some attention. Yeah. I have to wake up Anthony because we have to cut the church because I'll be done cutting for the week. We'll check in later on. Pork bellies are on. I cut it into two. I accidentally put this one fat cap down first and then I had to turn it over. That's why there's real marks. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook them both and then at 160 degrees, we're going to wrap one of them and then the other one we're going to turn into burnt ends. I have the Redmond organic garlic pepper on there and I also use a little bit of this stuff. Uh, I get this stuff from Aldi and I like it because it is very clean ingredients. Salt, spices, including celery, paprika, mustard, garlic, onion, and silicone dioxide. So they don't add any sugar to this at all. So every once in a while we use this to give it a little bit more flavor. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make my cranberry sauce. This is very simple and you only need a few ingredients. So I need a bag of cranberries, obviously. You need cranberries for cranberry sauce. We're gonna use a sweetener. I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of allulose. Now you can use powdered swerve or powdered erythritol. Just make sure you don't use granular. I just prefer allulose. I like the taste, I like the texture, I like the way it reacts. Uh, we need some orange zest. So I'm gonna use one and a half teaspoons of orange zest three quarters of a cup of water. And then to combat the fact that, you know, allulose is only 70% as sweet as sugar, we're gonna put a few drops of liquid sucralose in there. So very simple. You got your pot, you're gonna get it on the stove, three quarters of a cup of water, the entire bag of cranberries. That's what one hand is a pain. Our sweetener. and one and a half teaspoons of orange zest. And then we're gonna put three or four drops of liquid sucralose in there. We'll give this a good mix. And we're basically just gonna let the heat start popping all the cranberries. Good morning. Good Your computer morning. is in the shot. I am so sorry, but I am in the middle of what used to be done with a newspaper. <laughs> Black Friday shopping. Black Friday shopping. What are the deals? It looks like Old Navy is going to have 50% off online everything. My only problem with Old Navy is I go in there and one thing fits me perfectly and the next thing is like three sizes too big and right. the next thing is like three sizes too small and it frustrates me. Well, you have Back to Back to the know. size issue. I know. I'm sorry. They actually purposefully have different lines like I'm in the sweetheart line like based on your body shape you they have jeans that will fit you better than it will fit another body shape I like the effort personally yeah. and if I find them in a thrift store it's a bonus because I see like oh old navy and then I'm like is this my body shape oh okay I did not know that well good morning happy happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Yeah. or by the time you're seeing this Happy post Thanksgiving. Happy Tuesday or Wednesday or something. <laughs> so obviously we did start yesterday. It was a busy day preparing for Thanksgiving, preparing for As an earlier is. live stream. And uh, yeah, so we did our morning thing and then really didn't do much after that. I prepared our pork bellies this morning. I actually took one. I was only going to do a half a pork belly because I figured... They're not, most of the people there are not Half, keto. Thank you. And they're not going to eat an entire pork belly, which an entire pork belly is a lot of food. And he's, I, I don't want to step on John Paul's toes because he's making a turkey. That is true. That's a so good So I plan. figured this is more of a side dish. It is. And then I started thinking, well, what do I do with the other half? Do I eat make it. bacon? I, I don't think I'm going to want again pork belly on Saturday because. Yeah, you will. Yeah, but I was thinking about doing a prime rib roast on Saturday. I don't, I don't know. Pork belly. So I decided to throw both pork bellies or two, both halves in there. And I'm going to turn one half into burnt ends. Okay. So we're going to smoke it like a brisket. Smoke it like a brisket. And then turn it into pork belly burnt ends. What All right. do you think of that? I'm tracking with you again. So what we'll do is we'll take some of the burnt ends with us okay. and then we'll leave some for at home 
so that when we get home, in case we're a little hungry, or lunch tomorrow. What do right. you think about that one? I like this plan. Okay. We're, we're, you, when you said you were like doing half, I was like, wait, wait. So now I'm, I feel better. So we are starting off our day with a cup of coffee, one tablespoon of butter, and one egg each. So good. So I'm no glad. keto chow in here. Trying to get ourselves ready. I am going to make some keto chow drop biscuits. I may, I, I want to take some with us. You yes. want bread with your Thanksgiving dinner. And I mean, that's just up there. Honestly, if I didn't, if we weren't leaving at 1130, I would probably wake the boys up and start them off with some biscuits and gravy using the keto chow drop Which biscuits. Which they actually really, they really like. like that. The gravy is really good too. I got some cranberry sauce going in the back. That's where that pop, pop, pop is sound. And then I need to go to Wawa because every Thanksgiving, it's become a tradition where every Thanksgiving, you know, there's people who have to work today. Yes, there are. And so what we like to do is every Thanksgiving and Christmas... We go up to Wawa and we buy $5 gift cards for all of the employees that have to work. We just want everybody to know at a place where we shop regularly, because mm -hmm. that's a lot of times where Joe and Anthony will get the gas, that we recognize your sacrifice so that we can have the gas we need to get to our destination, right? Like we're going a full two hours away from our house and we need gas and Thankfully, they're working today and, and we can fuel up and, and get to see our family. And, and we notice that, that that represents a sacrifice. It's yes. hard to work on Thanksgiving. We've both had to work on Thanksgiving before and it's, it's very challenging. Yeah. So that's the plan. Now, what we're going to do today, um, we're going to bring our phone with us and we will film like what we're eating and stuff. Yeah. But again, we want to focus on the family. So there'll be a little bit of blog stuff in there throughout the day but mostly we're just going to show you what we eat and we'll wrap things up when we get home I had to fix the cranberry sauce <laughs> uh i did want to say one thing before we uh go to wawa and right now we're in the middle of reading a book get from your Joyce Meyer. It, it is such a good book the way we like to start our day every morning is we read either a chapter or a part of a chapter of a book depending on how long that chapter is and we do that, and then we have a little bit of prayer time together, and it's just a great way for us to start our morning as a couple. Well, I really like it because I feel like we're actually taking some feet work to, you know, actions to get on the same page yeah. every single day. Because, you know, you and your partner may wake up and one person is like, yes, I'm ready for the day. And the other person is the total opposite. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's a really good opportunity for us to just kind of get together, talk some things out. And a lot of times, whatever we're reading really applies it just to works out that way. what we're going through. <laughs> yeah, it either applies to yesterday or it applies to what we're about to go through for the day. So this book is called Get Your Hopes Up. And it's, it's about how it's okay to hope. It's okay to pray and ask God for things. And, you know, I think a lot of us struggle with, like, not hoping for things. We don't want to, like, think about, like, hey, things could be so much better, and therefore we don't try to achieve those things. Right. And she's talking about how it's good to do that. And the part that we were just reading is talking about consistency and that we have to be consistent in are, you know, having hope and are consistent in our prayer and are consistent in our, you know, asking God for things. And I started thinking like, wow, how much does this apply to keto? Because I know when it comes to hope, I'm definitely guilty of like hoping for, you know, our channel to grow this much or hoping for, you know, having a better relationship. And then the next day going, this is never going to work. Like, oh my gosh, what am Roller I even coaster. trying to do? And you have to be consistent. You have to have it every day. And I think it's the same thing when it comes to our perfect human diet lifestyle that we have to be consistent. We can't like one day be, I'm going to be really good. And then the next day I'm going off the rails, but it's okay because I was good yesterday. Because when we do that, we don't really see results. Well, I think that we see that in a lot of areas where it kind of goes back to what Bronson had said that you're not trying to, you know, wear out your willpower battery mm -hmm. because you've made a decision. Like you're not going to be inconsistent in how 
how you parent, right? You're right. going to be like, I'm going to show up and give it my best and give it my all every single day. You're not going to be inconsistent in your workplace, right? right. You Because you'd lose your job, right? But um, sometimes, yeah, we don't bring that consistency to our eating habits right. and we kind of leave it vulnerable to like, is today going to be the day that I'm good or not? So again, we haven't made that decision and, and moved on with it. It kind of also reminds me of what Nicole Burgess had said and I've also heard Nisha talk about it, where yes, you need motivation, but you also need determination. That's right. Where it's like not negotiable anymore because if you're just writing your emotion, you, you won't be you know, consistent because you're going to be driven by like, well, if I feel like doing the right thing, I will do it. But if I don't feel like doing the right thing, then clearly I won't. And it makes sense right. if that's how you're running your day. Yeah. People ask us like, how do I have a successful YouTube channel? You got to be consistent. How do I have success on my keto lifestyle? You have to be consistent. You know, it was really easy to put that weight on and for whatever life that you've been living, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, we were pretty consistent in eating the crappy standard American diet. And I was successful in at gaining weight. In gaining weight because <laughs> I was consistent. So now all of a sudden we change our lifestyle. We start eating keto or carnivore or keto or we're just gonna throw it under, like Dr. Barry says, the proper human diet. And a week or two weeks in, we're like, this isn't working. Well, it took a lot more than one or two weeks to get to where we are. Yeah. And so we need to give ourselves that much time to reverse things. You know, if you've been doing keto for three or four days and going, I'm not seeing a change, I'm going to quit. Or doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for a week and going, I don't know, the scale is, is moving, I, I, I'm going to quit. We need to give ourselves more time. We need to be consistent with this way of eating to have the results that we're looking for. So you can see the cranberries are starting to split open. It's becoming almost like a jelly. And we're not adding any pectin or anything like that into here. So we're gonna let this go a little bit longer, get some more of that water out, and then we're gonna transfer it to the refrigerator and let it cool down. Now, if you're like me and you don't want big chunks of berries because you're used to the like jellied ones, you can take like a potato masher and kind of mash them down and get this thing going a little bit more and that'll help pop open the rest of the berries and really get this to be a nice thick cranberry sauce. Are you finding anything good? Yes, well, I'm making you a list to be able to reference back. Like, thank you, Elfster, for helping to create a Christmas list uh -huh. that Joe can now reference back for, for Christmas. I'm gonna run to Wawa. Why is the camera shaking? My hand is shaky. Um, I'm gonna run to Wawa, do you wanna come? No, I'm going to get into the shower so that I do not look crazy. You don't look crazy. I look a little crazy. So this is one of my favorite things to do to go in and give everybody gift cards before you do that. We need gas. Now it's time to go in and spread some Thanksgiving cheer. So the manager said there are 11 people working this morning. So we've got 11 gift cards. We're gonna go put $5 on each one and then hand them out to all the employees. That is one of my favorite things to do. I love coming up here every Thanksgiving and giving everybody gift cards. You know, they're already bummed out because they have to work on Thanksgiving. They're away from their families. It's just nice to come up here and put a little smile on their face and say, hey, we care. Now the girl told me there were 11 people working and it turned out there were only nine. So we had two left. I found a guy who was in the parking lot that's running like a tent company, you know, putting up a tent for like parties and things like that. So I gave him one and then this one here, I'm gonna save because the one girl who generally checks us out every morning during the week, she's not here, she's on vacation. So we're gonna save this one, give it to her when she comes back next week. So now I need to go home. I just got an alert on my phone from the meter app that the pork bellies are at 160 degrees. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna wrap them and prepare the burnt ends. <laughs> you haven't moved. Oh my gosh. I got, I fell down the uh, searching for boots hole and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm deep in that well right now. What are you doing? Working on your coffee now. You're taking my coffee? Sorry. Tabitha wants to say good morning. Good morning, Tabitha. I was hoping you would get a paper. I love having a paper to hold in my hand on Thanksgiving morning, yes. Okay, so here's the thing. 
I went up, I gave everybody gift cards. I love putting that smile on everybody's faces. So good. And uh, she told me there were 11 people working, so I bought 11 gift cards. Great. And it turned out there were only nine people working. Okay. So I saved one for Nell Bob because she helps us every day. And, and she she's just, on vacation today. Right. She's actually on vacation all week. And then there was a guy in the parking lot pumping his gas with one of those big tent trucks. You know, he's delivering a tent for a party today. Oh, wow. And I'm like, do you have to work today? And he's like, yes. And so I gave him a $5 gift card. Good. I did get you a newspaper, but as a former newspaper reporter. Look at the size of this newspaper. I remember Thanksgiving paper being the this hugest thick. thing. This is it. And you ready for this? Okay. $3. Oh my gosh, they're just It was to a stay dollar. Open. Do you remember what it was? I mean, okay, wait, take out the ads. Take out the ads. Here's your entire paper. What? This <laughs> Look at this. I am not I am not kidding. This hurts my heart. And and I guarantee you, yeah, like half of the paper is ads too. So what is there like 15 articles in the entire newspaper? I knew it was bad when my mother finally canceled her subscription because like that was a utility bill. It was like you have to have water, you have to have electricity, you have to have a newspaper. Yes. Apparently we are fine without it. I'm going to have my copy back. Enjoy it. Oh, now Charity is here to see here. You need a mass risk. So I wanted to show you something, confess a little something. Well, it's not confession, but I was like, you know what? Today's Thanksgiving. Okay. And you know me, I can't drive without a drink. Right. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. A, a, I've been so good. Let's clarify. A, a reasonable drink. Not re like you're like, I cannot without a, like a, just a big frosty mug of beer. No, no. But so I, you know, I was like, you know what? It's Thanksgiving. And we're pretty much going to do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs today. Or turkey. But turkey. But pretty much carnivore, right? right? We're going to have a little bit of cranberry sauce because what's Thanksgiving without cranberry and sauce? And it's delicious. And now you want me to make you another one. Yes. Um. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself and my dessert for the day is going to be a Coke Zero. Okay. Because I love fountain right soda. Right up front. Okay. I drank this much. This is so sweet. I can't drink it. What is happening to us? Right? I used what? to drink 128 ounces of this a day. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to go find some seltzer water. I think we have some lime seltzer water. I don't have any plain ones, but maybe just like cut it down. Oh, wait, you have Topo Chico. We'll, we'll do. Yeah, cut it. We'll, we'll cut it with that because this is just too. Take a sip of that. Again, it has. I can't drink it. This is why I had one the other day. We bought one when I was shopping with my mom and I it's did not so finish weird. it. So we're prepared and hopeful for body recomposition when yeah. we try something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we prepared for menu recomposition? Are we prepared for tastes and treat recomposition? Right. Like what if you get spit out the other end of this challenge, right? And we like water and our treat is bacon instead yeah. of, you know, your treat is soda or your treat is some sort of a packaged snack. What happens then? Meter app says that the pork bellies are up to temperature. We're gonna go ahead and check them right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this the probe test. Wow, that's already going right through. Now we want it more. There's a little bit of resistance. Look at that. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook that one like a brisket, turn this one into a burnt end. So we're gonna put that one into a boat. Now we're gonna take this one, bring it inside, cut it up and turn it into burnt ends. So Rachel wants more cranberry sauce because now she wants to bring one with us up to John and Michelle's and then she wants another one just to have here at home. We're also gonna send a little bit over to her mom's and fortunately, I have another bag of cranberries. So we have our makeshift tray in here. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pour all the pork belly in here. Kind of spread it around a little bit. Now from here, we're gonna let this go until you basically do a probe test and it's like putting a hot probe in butter. So I have an idea with the cranberry sauce. I generally always like the cranberry sauce that came in a can, you know, the one it's like jelly and not having all the seeds. So. I'm gonna take the second batch, I'm gonna put it in the Vitamix and try to blend it up a little bit and see if it sets. So we got it in the Vitamix, let's go ahead and see if we can puree this a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna put this one in the refrigerator and see how well this one sets compared to the other one. Okay, time for the taste test. It's still a little warm, but I ran the second batch, the batch I was making for you, through the Vitamix. Some people like like the little chunks Do you like the it. chunky or you like the smooth? Well, this one is smooth. So I wanna see if you, if it's Rachel approved because you have always been very critical of my cranberry sauce I'm keto style. super critical in the past of keto cranberry sauce. I'm just like, you know what? I don't need it that much. I'm just gonna forget it because they can't get it right. I'm going for sweet tart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dang, that's good. Like, I almost want to say a bad word. It's that good. Um, Let me try it. Let me have a little taste here. I don't think you need to try it. I think I need to try it. Otherwise, you don't get any burnt ends. Is that, like, the most amazing thing ever? It's, like, perfect jelly. I'm telling you, this is going straight on my bread, my PSMF bread and my drop biscuits. Yo, dude, what are you doing? We have got to go. I am not going without Keto Chow Drop Biscuits. These <laughs> are like an essential with Thanksgiving and Christmas. Especially since you got the cranberry sauce, correct? Yeah. You got to have the Drop Biscuits. Well, here's the good thing. It is 11.50. I wanted to leave by about 12.30. These take about 20 minutes to cook. So I can put them on here go take a shower. Yes, please. And by the time I get out, they will be done. Shower, don't shame me at Thanksgiving. Let's go ahead and check these burnt ends. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and do the poke test. Yep, butter, look at that. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Let's bring these inside. Pork burnt ends. Oh my gosh. I don't know about this. I think we have to taste test them. You I don't really think, think it's so? right to bring them to something and not like, you know, have tested them. Okay, let me get you a fork. They're very hot. So we have pork belly burnt ends here. And then over here is just a pork belly cooked like a brisket. Cook it like a brisket. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Look at this fatty goodness. Sure you want to bring these with us? Only because it's our son's birthday, <laughs> right? And we need to share. It's his birthday, and I know he'll love them. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and dump all this in there, and we want those juices. Any that don't make it inside the container are bag lungs, and I get to eat those. Dang it! Why are you so accurate? Got a couple up here. Man. Will any, this is like Plinko. Will any drop down for Rachel? <sighs> no. Got perfect aim. Trying to get it off without getting the aluminum foil. Dang it. Okay. Well, there's one here. Okay. Oh, I, it's, I'm sorry, I got the aluminum foil off of it. Do you want it anyway? I absolutely. I uh, well, you didn't get one yet, so you get it. Ha! <laughs> oh. That's so good. Ain't nothing like pork belly. Mmm. Okay. So... Rachel doesn't want barbecue sauce on them. Typically, burnt in should have a lot of barbecue sauce on them. So you can just take some Alterna sweets or any other keto-friendly barbecue sauce and pour a little bit over the top of it. It's completely up to you what you want in flavor. So I'm gonna bring some on the side and this way we can put it on ours if we want, but if you don't want it, you don't need to have it. Hey, I'm kind of impressed with the kitchen. Okay, well, I did have a little bit of help. Caleb did come in this morning and, and clean my first mess but I wanted to pay respect to him. So after he cleaned, I continued cooking and I cleaned it all. I even cleaned my stand mixer. So there's no mess when we come home. I hate coming home to like a big pile of mess in the kitchen. So I wanted to give him some respect and, and not create mess after he just cleaned it. Okay, last thing, got our biscuits. Ooh, that's looking good. Oh. Wow, that looks good. Nice and golden brown. I do think that just for quality control, we need <laughs> to taste this. 
Mm. I wish you hadn't packed the cranberry sauce right now because I would love to put cranberry sauce on this. So stinking good. You know what would make that even better? Mm, butter. Some butter. Yep. Let's dress it up right. Okay, wait, pause. You were so against me having a butter container with butter on the counter. It is nice. Tell me how much it is like such a great deal. It is. Because wait, wait, wait. Tell me how awesome it is to have soft butter to spread onto your biscuit right now. Are you basically just wanting me to validate on video that you were right and I was wrong? Yes. You were right and I was Mark this occasion, that doesn't happen very often. Okay, are we ready to go? We are ready to go, but I feel like the quality control test on the biscuits, it was inconclusive. So we gotta, we gotta try another one. <laughs> are you gonna have like four or five of those by the time we get to the dinner? These are so good. Mmm. Oh, so good. As much as I love the chicken soup just to drink the chicken soup keto chow, it makes phenomenal biscuits. Also, these came in the mail. It's uh, white chocolate, raspberry popping candy, and I figured we can bring it up and maybe somebody wants a sugar-free candy. Are you dessert. going to be quality controlling that also? I might just quality control this because it is Thanksgiving. I don't know yet, it depends. I'm, I'm really looking forward to eating just a tremendous amount of meat. So I'm using a different strategy this year. Normally on Thanksgiving, we wear pajamas and the loosest fitting clothes because you're expecting to expand them, right? So this year, I'm wearing clothes that actually fit. This way, I know when I'm actually full. I don't know who's having more fun, the kids or the dogs? <laughs> like a saxophone. Jenny, go get him. Go get him. Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Will you act your age? What age is that? Four? Oh, here we go. <laughs> They're everywhere. The squeak toys. <laughs> they gave the wrong person a lighter and a bottle of lighter fluid. Uh oh, it's not working, Anth. Oh, no, it'll work. There we go. Is this why you're going camping next week? Yes. Just to be able to set <laughs> fires. Just for the fire. <laughs> Don't get that long hair in there. So you know when you get like really comfortable at somebody's house and you're like, I'm just gonna kick my shoes off and stay a while. Well, Caleb did that, but then we left and he left his shoes. <laughs> and he doesn't have any other shoes except for one pair of Crocs because he, he is a very functional gentleman <laughs> that is just like, I got my pair of shoes and these are the shoes I wear every day. And when these are done, I will get a new pair of shoes. So fortunately, Joe's got some shoes at home we can hook him up with because it is like a two hour drive to go back and get the shoes. So we're kind of wait until she's coming down this way to get back his shoes. But hopefully there's a, a Black Friday deal on shoes. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was so much fun. It was still amazing to have a child old enough to host an event. That was very like exciting for me. So we didn't vlog anything, but I did take pictures of what we ate. We ate a lot of cranberry sauce. I think that I ate mostly cranberry sauce today because it has been a long time since I have enjoyed cranberry sauce. So yeah, I had turkey. I had a little bit of our stuffing. We brought our own stuffing because people say like, what do you do when you're going to someone's house? We nicely offer to bring something and yeah. then we bring something that we can eat. Right. So the pork belly, the entire thing went. Like all the burnt ends, I think there was one actual piece of just like the pork belly cook like a brisket left. It was like nothing left. Everybody well, devoured that. Well, here's the thing. It's something that, it's the kind of food that we eat every day, but it probably is something very different. Right. If you're not eating a lot of like, you know, 
keto vory type of food. John Paul did a phenomenal job he's on the so turkey. He's so good. Were you so proud of I him? I was really proud of him. So he's using, we gave him our old smoker, our pit boss smoker, and he's just learning how to cook on a smoker and he's loving it. So he smoked the turkey. It was great. He also, one of his favorite things and Anthony's favorite things is that buffalo chicken dip that you get at like Costco. Well, he made his own version. It was way better. On the smoker, and it was really good. Very good. He also smoked cream cheese, so we were able to eat that. That was really good. And that was that's a new ingredient for us. We yeah. haven't been eating cream cheese, yeah. so... I, mean, I, I don't know good. what's going to happen tomorrow because we mix so many different things. But for the most part, I mean, hey, we kept keto. We didn't have any desserts. Other than cranberry. That cranberry, cranberry sauce, sauce is like a dessert. It was like a dessert. But it was really good. Just a good family time. We're going to pick back up with the vlogs tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I may keep it light tomorrow. I'm planning on doing a prime rib. I'm going to take the prime rib roast out of the freezer when we get home. Let that thing defrost. Maybe throw it into the sous vide tomorrow night. Sous vide it like all night like for like 24 hours and we'll have that on saturday evening uh, that that's going to be delicious I'm, I'm excited about that looking one. forward to it and also the coffee that i'm gonna have when we go shopping tomorrow oh yeah because we're gonna get up and go black friday shopping we need to look for for some reason shoes obviously a, a pair of shoes and a harry potter lego set for a 21 year old <laughs> hey, I love that he loves that. That is my, that's, that's my kid. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to end the vlog right here. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that I've linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every time we leave our shoes somewhere, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.